I know some of you want me to, like, make fun of the Spurs at the fact that they can't get past Golden State, but I am really not in the mood for this shit. Not only is the Spurs likely going to collapse, but, um... Coach Popovich's wife, Erin Popovich, died during this playoffs series. And I don't feel comfortable trying to make jokes out of this team. So please understand that this video is going to be 100% informative and just my thoughts on, on their future, okay? Um, first off, I honestly thought that you guys were going to get swept again, figuring that last year without Kawhi Leonard, you got swept. This year without Kawhi Leonard, you at least saved your dignity and got one win. And for that, I respect you very much. Uh, quite frankly, game four, it looked like you guys were playing for Aaron Popovich. So, um, congratulations, fellas. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the possible retirement of Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili. Both of them are 40, and it would not surprise me to see both of them go if um, if this is their last year. And if so, it really sucks to see them not go out on top, considering they've both had excellent careers. But it's just something that doesn't happen to everyone. Same thing with Zidane Yochara. Depending on how Game 7 goes tonight, this could be the last time he puts on his skates. I don't want that to happen, but that is a possibility. I know he just signed an extension, but hey, age is a bitch. Age doesn't... Ain't. <laughs> Sometimes you go in signing extensions thinking, well, you know what, fine, I'll play another year, and then your body forces you to retire. It's, it's just one of those things that sucks in life, and there's nothing you can do about it. Same thing with death. It, it really does suck to lose people in your life knowing that they are gone for good. Um, as for your possible financial situation, you look okay. You're paying LaMarcus Aldridge fairly well, but again, he's one of the better players in the league. I understand that. You're paying Kawhi Leonard very well, considering he's a, the best two-way player in the league. And Pau Gasol is... Eh, yeah. He's 37 and still getting paid $16 million, even though he has dropped from his previous years. So that is a pretty bad contract, but nothing that I can't live with. Patty Mills is getting paid pretty nicely as well. He's got another four years on him, and he's getting paid 10 to $11 million every single year. Um, just overall, this is a very nice-looking... Uh, roster, and as long as you can keep Kawhi Leonard on this team and continue to build around him, hell, we could be talking about San Antonio's relevance for another 20 years. Um, yeah. And one of the things that I've, that I've, uh, discovered is that on the Spurs salary, uh, team payroll here, you guys are stuck paying Tim Duncan $2 million up until the end of the 2019 season, so the end of next year. I did not know that. If that's the case, well, I guess the salary cap doesn't work the same way it does in the NHL, so it doesn't really matter. In worst case scenario, you have to pay a luxury tax. And honestly, who the fuck take the, takes those seriously? Look at the Warriors, Trailblazers and Cavaliers um, payroll and see how high over the salary cap they are. They don't give a fuck. And to see the San Antonio Spurs give a fuck about the salary cap and stay relevant is beyond impressive. Coach Popovich, you are a true, true inspiration to everyone in the NBA community. And um, I hope that you can grieve and come back as the same type of coach that you've been over the past few decades and if you can't that is nothing to be held against you okay I absolutely understand um, just how much loss of that degree hurts 
And if you don't come back to coach, that is 100% understandable. Okay? Just, I wish the best for you, coach.